Mr. Sheep, do you want to learn how to build a modern house in Minecraft? No? What about you? Yeah, you do? Okay, good. So all I need you to do is leave a like on this video and click that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of the future videos like the other houses that I'm going to build. But let me tell you, I am excited to make this video and build a modern house and show you guys how to build a modern house for those of you guys that are confused and are like, I want to build a nice Minecraft house, but like, I don't know how to do it. Like, how? Well, look no further. We're going to create a very simple modern house that really anyone can copy. And we're going to start off with this block, the smooth quartz block. Now, you don't have to use the smooth quartz block. You can use a normal quartz block. You can even use any block, honestly, if you wanted to use wood, whatever. I just love using the quartz block because it just adds that nice, modern, clean touch to a house, like the super nice white. We're going to start off with our house structure. So I'm going to go up about four blocks, and I'm basically just going to make a little bit of a bridge. This is going to be the entrance to our house right here. The front door is going to be right here. And then I'm going to carry throughout and build pretty much the rest of the structure of the house. Now, we're just going to kind of build... Eh, we'll do about right there. We're not going to go all the way to the end there. We'll cut it right about here, and we'll go this way. So this is going to be the very top of the house, the roof. And then I want to drag up another one here, and then about right here. And we're going to go all the way to the edge, and then we're going to come this way. This is going to be another section of the roof. See, three houses are kind of easy to make because you just make the weirdest design. It just works. This is what we're starting with. This is the front of our house right here. Now we need to make it look like 3D. Now what I mean by that is any blocks that you're going to place in here, they're going to go on this side. They're not going to go here because then that's going to give the house a very flat look and it's not going to be very modern. So I'm going to use some spruce wood. Now you can use whatever wood you want. I just think the darker wood looks really good against the white. So we're going to build up here just like so. We're going to kind of just like fill all this in and this is going to be like a big window right here. There we go. Look at that. But look at how how much better that looks versus this. See, it kind of just looks flat. The 2D look looks so much better. So continuing that design through the house, we're going to do the same thing with the entryway as well, just like so. And then the same thing with this second story up here as well. And then since I really like this white wall, I'm just going to continue it down this wall right here. There we go, just like so. So we finish off that white wall there. Now I'm going to build this out just a little bit more as well. We're going to go about three blocks because we're going to put another window right here so just like that and also make sure to extend out this top part of the roof so we do have that little 2d effect or that little overhang that looks really good look at this see it's slowly coming along actually going to build another window up here as well uh, let's actually match it with the bottom one so we will start it right there and then let's also make sure we do that overhang right here yes this is going to look so good look at that ah i love this already that looks so good. So we have the front of the house done. We have the side of the house pretty much done. Now, what about the back half, Unspeakable? So what I'm going to do with the back half is I'm actually going to continue this side pretty much. So let's go ahead and take this through right here. We're just going to continue the roof out just like so, just about right there, just like that. We're also going to continue that wood just a little bit more. I'm going to do the same thing with a window again. So we're going to place another window out here. So let's go ahead and continue continue this down that was three blocks and then we're gonna go two here let's continue this wall down and we're gonna do the same i want to do the same window right here i want this house to be very open modern houses are supposed to feel very open a lot of windows this is going to be sweet let's actually do i want to do one more layer right here there we go that looks great and then i'm gonna take this big white wall that i was doing i really like this white wall and we're just gonna continue it through here we're gonna leave a little spot for a door right here just to go and head into the backyard but other than that, I'm just going to continue this white wall. Now, this side over here, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. I kind of want some of the cool front features to be on this side as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go straight for a little bit. And then we are just going to go straight up all the way to the top, pretty much. And then we're going to come over and then we're going to go back straight down just like so. So it's going to be kind of like a cool, giant modern window that we're going to do right here. And then we're going to fill the rest of it in with wood. There we 
go just like this wow that looks so so good there we go now we're gonna go ahead and finish off the roof here so i'm just gonna fill up in the entire top with all of these quartz blocks so let's go ahead and just fill that in there we go now we're gonna add a little bit of our overhang here we're going to extend that a little bit there we go that looks so good okay so we're gonna add a little more touches here just kind of connecting the sides of the house here that we wanted wow that looks cool i think a little quartz block right there would look good mm -hmm, this looks sick i think one connecting here this this just kind of looks empty right here so we're gonna connect that just like so look at that that looks so good now i'm not gonna lie i don't like the back door we're gonna change the back door here okay so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger here and then we're going to add a wood framing around it just like we did with the front door there we go just like so so that is gonna be our back door right there okay this is looking too good to be true let's go ahead and fill in all our windows and doors for the door i'm going to use the dark oak doors and for the glass i'm going to use white stained glass now you can use whatever door and whatever glass you want i just think the white stained glass looks the best just as it sits right next to all the other white blocks it just looks so good it just it just flows. It looks so, so good. Now, if you can, I would highly recommend using the panes instead just because they look so, so much better in some spots. But some spots, you just can't use them. Like a spot like this, it just looks kind of awkward. We're going to go for the blocks instead here. But if you can, use the panes because it just adds that extra dimension effect to the front. I mean, it just looks so good. going to do our tall window right here. This is probably my favorite one. That looks amazing. Should we do two more windows? on the side i think that would look really good let's let's uh let's finish them off first and then we'll see what it looks like so there we have it the outside of the house is pretty much complete other than some small touches like bushes and lanterns and whatnot but this thing is looking sweet now before i continue this build i need you guys to leave a like on this video if you want to see me do more house builds in the future i would love to build more things for you guys and teach you guys how to build some awesome stuff maybe some castles maybe the safest minecraft house let me know in the comment section below just leave a like on this video and i I'd love to build more stuff but let's go ahead and head inside now the thing is is we've done a lot of stuff to make this house look 2d and when you come inside kind of looks weird like everything's just kind of unbuilt it looks unfair finish it just uh, there's a lot going on so to fix that what i like to do is pretty much just cover everything up now you don't have to cover everything up but that's what i like to do so we're gonna go through here and we are just going to cover all of these white walls up now feel free to leave some of the white walls if you want to but the two-tone kind of texture just doesn't fit the vibe of the inside of the house there we go now that is looking so much better now it's starting to look a little bit more like a home now i'm actually going to add the windows on the outside this is the fun thing about making houses you can slowly add things as you go let's go ahead and cover that side up and we are going to go floor to ceiling here with both of these really cool windows that's one thing i love about modern houses is the really tall skinny windows they always look so so good look at that wow that's just the side of the house <laughs> it looks so so good now we got to do our flooring that of course is very very important now what you want to do for the floors is totally up to you if you want to keep doing the quartz quartz look really really good but since i have the darker touch of the wood inside the house i'm gonna go for like a smooth stone texture so we're gonna grab this smooth stone block yeah that looks so good with the dark texture of the house that looks so so good i'm starting to love the inside of this house now obviously Obviously, this is a two-story house so you'll definitely want to add another floor or you can just leave it open like this with really really high ceilings now we're gonna go back outside and we are going to customize the outside a little bit I want to show you guys some cool stuff that I like to add to my house that just give it that really really nice touch we're gonna add some bushes now since this is a very very large white wall we're pretty much gonna fill in this entire wall with bushes we're just gonna kind of go like this just kind of get creative with it do your thing there we go. Maybe make one side a little taller than the other. It doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe your bushes are a little bit overgrown. We're going to do a little bit of another one right here. Just something kind of like that. And then another one 
right here, just like so. And then if you wanna add a little bit of a path as well, paths to enter your house are also always very, very cool. So we're gonna just kind of continue our flooring out here just like so. And then you can even start to do kind of spotty patches to make it seem a little bit more modern. So if we did something like this, there we go. Look at that. How cool is that? It looks awesome. Grab a little flower pot, throw some flowers, throw them anywhere. You can throw them up next to the window seals. They look really, really good up there as well. Just the small details is what is going to make this house look really, really good. I mean, come on, even plant a tree in the front yard. We're going to throw a tree right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and use some of this bone mill to bring the surroundings to life there we go look at that that just looks so much better with all the flowers in front of the house it's starting to look like a home now for the backyard we definitely want to extend out the patio here so we're gonna have this kind of come out and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna build something pretty cool here. We're gonna build a pool. So we're gonna build this patio in sections. I like my backyards to still have grass in them. So we're gonna have a little section over here to hang out. And then we're gonna build a little section over here to hang out. Now this right here is actually going to be the hot tub. So I'm going ahead and just filling everything in here. So hot tub here, there we go. Gonna go ahead and get rid of these blocks, make it a little bit deeper. And then we are going to do the pool right here that is going to stretch long ways this way. There we go. So this is going to be our pool right here. I left some open space over here for maybe a little table or grill or whatever you want to do, but this is going to be our pool. So let's go ahead and fill this in. All right, so here is our pool. We're gonna go ahead and fill it in. Now, don't worry, I did, of course, make it deeper than this. I am just adding a layer of water on top. And then all we gotta do is just break it and it all flows down just like so. I also added sea lanterns in the pool so when nighttime comes, the pool will be very nice and lit up. But there is our pool. I like to keep it just super, super simple. Now, feel free to add as many details as you guys want to this backyard. And feel free to also add as many details as you want to the inside. Now, I'm not gonna decorate the inside. We can do that in a separate video. And I also want you guys to take this house and decorate it and make it your own. There's two things you can do this house. You can either one, make it two stories. So I would build a second story probably about right there or you could just leave it open and have super super high ceilings which I think would also look really really good but our backyard is absolutely beautiful this house turned out really really good thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know in the comment section below what I should build next but I'm hoping you guys learn something super super helpful from this video and also you probably learned that making a super nice modern house in Minecraft isn't as hard as you think it's it's really not. It's super, super easy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Click that subscribe button because we're almost at 10 million subscribers. But till then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.